We are going to show how to build the electronic system to control the single column oxygenator. The components are valves, solenoid valves. We use Festo valves, 24 volt DC. These are pneumatically actuated valves, so there is an inlet for the compressed air. And then there is the control line. Inlet, normally open and normally closed outlet. We have connected the cables to the valves and we have named the valves A and B and named the cables A and B so that everything is tidy. We will control the valves by means of an Arduino, a very simple Arduino, which will then switch um, relays and the relays will then activate or deactivate the valves by providing them power or by cutting the power. Each valve comes with a cable and in the cable we can find um, three wires, so three sub-cables. One is earth, which at the moment we don't need for our setup, and then there are two black connectors. It is indifferent which one is connected to the 24 volt line and which one is connected to the ground, as they are just powering a solenoid. First thing, we will connect all the ground lines together, so we choose one of the two black cables, and we add it to this header. So this is for valve B, same for valve A and then we take a 24 volt power supply where we have connected um, a black and red cable, the black cable is the minus and the red cable is the plus we take the minus, the ground line, we connect it into the header okay we check that the connections are nice and tight now we will connect the second line of each valve to the relay board. The relay board is a standard relay board and every relay has a normally open connector, a line in the middle and a normally closed connector, which simply means that when the relay is not powered, the line is connected to the normally closed connector. When we power the relay, the line will be switched to the normally open connector, which will then become closed. So <clears throat> we can plug in the valves to the normally open connector, so the top one. We have also named the relay A and B so that everything is tidy. Always check the connectors. Okay, now we need to provide the 24 volt line to both relays, so we will use another header. We take the plus line or the red cable that we have previously connected, add it to the header. Then we take a piece of cable, electric cable. We need two lines, one for relay A and one for relay B. Therefore, we will cut this in two. We have to strip it. Now we will add one side, the long one, to the header and the other side, the one that we didn't strip as much, to the line of relay A, so the connector in the middle. Again, we make sure it's nice and tight so that we don't have wiring issues later on. We repeat the same for the second cable.
we add it to the line, we connect it to the line of relay B. We check the connection. Okay, now we connect the relay board to an Arduino. On the relay board we see six connection which are named. So there is a ground, inlet one, two, three, four, and power supply.